Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard. It's the 27th of October, 2014. John Rule's here with us. And we're going to share photos as usual. Arkansas's hungry seniors. Arkansas is ranked number one of all 50 states in senior hunger. That's not high school seniors. That's people like me and John who are above, uh, no, above 40. There's a Mount Kessler shirt. I don't have one of those. This is a man who's uh, retired, but uh, is actually driving a bus for the senior center and, and maybe the UA or some other system. You see the Canada geese, John? Yeah, I do. I They're do. on a big old pretty pond, and I thought we'd better see yeah. some of those. Is that shaggy mane? I don't know. That is really big. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Buffalo worthy Bible. of a whole screen. Yeah, it's a huge. I'll bring uh, my uh, fungus Bible. Okay. Uh, we'll see if we can. Well, the, I wish we had it today. We could look that one up. Yeah, yeah I thought so. I saw some Boletus ones out when I was back down in the woods. Okay, well, these geese are not far from there, so that's why the pictures are kind of mixed that's up. That's a great shot. Uh, they're way across that pond, of course, and mm -hmm. you can see different looks. Some of them looking around. There's always one There's always watching. One. Yeah. yeah. So the others can be picking under their feathers or got their nose underwater or whatever mm -hmm. in the water. And uh, so they're pretty smart dudes. Recognize that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it's a, it is. a passion flower. Yeah, it's a, it's a maypop, that, that fruit. The fruit. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, that one was shining at a distance, so mm -hmm. I just had to go over there and take his picture. Okay, we're down on the uh, Fayetteville uh, South College Ave or North College Avenue. The and, Solidarity uh, Mart. Solidarity with uh, Ferguson, Missouri. Right. And this is all about the young man that was killed up there by right. police right. shooting. And this march, however, has a lot more uh, thought than just that. Liberty and justice for all. Police the police. That's Jody Nemo. She's an Omni member and uh -huh. Sarah board member. Okay. Yeah. Solidarity March, there's the, uh, see that police badge on there? The I federal do. police participated in this because they, they take pride in trying to to uh, be cautious and, and well, uh, that's a good idea rarely make a mistake yeah. on, on that kind of thing. And it's they're taught, they're trained to, to uh, make sure they don't have a bad shoot, as they call it. So, mm -hmm. But uh, people of color, people of, of have various differences, diversity, diverse people. Uh, there's one, being black isn't punishable by death. But in mm -hmm. the old South, when you and I were growing up, there were still instances oh, yeah. of All black the people the, who were actually, lynched. The, the Gulf was a little bit better in some ways, but not in that one. You know, there, there were some terrible things that went on. So our, our police yeah. department here is concerned that, that everybody be treated fairly. Right. And uh, they... Uh, they call out the ones who don't follow that. Early vote, that, John, <laughs> mm -hmm. ends over third, so that'll be too late for most people seeing this, but it's vote early. If you want a verb, it would be a go vote early. Mm -hmm. Or an early vote would be a different use of the words, right. different parts of speech. So... Uh, I don't call it That's early voting. That's the only voting. time I get I mean, to early voting some of my neighbors is when I go to vote. Or to early vote. vote. <laughs> <laughs> and hands up, Northwest Arkansas, don't shoot. So this this was quite a little parade, not a whole lot of people, but it's kind of a insight, uh, exciting. An injury is one. Injury to one to is one an injury one to one. all. Yeah. That's Jody Nimmo's husband. Oh. And that's a, a young man and his mother. He's, she's been an activist for years and years, and uh, he's stepping into her role good. as he matures, and they both made good speeches at the meeting. And these guys are lawyers, law students, and that's an organization that actually goes to things like this to see that people are not abused on the site. That's, that's a good service. Okay, the Veterans right. Memorial 5K Race 214 is coming up on November 8th, early in the morning, be out there at 6 or 7 o'clock to register. And it starts at 8. Eugene Keister and Ron Butler at left. Eugene's 
91 years old this year. That's a picture I made last year at the race. And uh, see, he's, he's uh, a pretty interesting guy that dates mm -hmm. back to action in World War II. Mm -hmm. This is a promo uh, brochure for the 5K race. It's a fundraiser. It's $25 early or $30 the time of the race. I don't know. We're not supposed to mention prices. Yet. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's a fundraiser. It's right. not a profit. That's good. Thing. I understand. See you, John. Okay. Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard on the 27th of October with John Rule in 2014. See some photos? Uh, That's a uh, tall green milkweed seed pod. And open. Pretty close. It's open and uh, flowers are flying away. Here's a variegated fritillary on my neighbor's uh, non-native uh, but mm -hmm. useful this time of year. Right. Flowers for nectaring. And yes. the natives, you know, come and go fast. Mm -hmm. It's it's all summer to mid early fall. And so that Gulf Fritillary who had to have been hatched off of a uh, <coughs> passion Magic vine. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Their caterpillars oh. have to have passion vines, but right now the ones that have developed are out there looking for any nectar source. Right. Okay, these are the horsetail milkweed seed pods, and they're very, very small, but um, I was very, very close, and those seeds are in the process of blowing away. Some of them are already empty. There may be a few that still have some, but mostly those are gone. But I really enjoyed the seed pods as much as the flower. Well, yes, yeah. we're gonna have those. And see, that's tangled up with little blue stem grass. Yeah, I see. And so you get a mixture of, of mm. things. And, and that's- you're getting closer and closer. Yeah, that's about to bump into see it. The seeds. It's, it's about a tenth of an inch away from the, mm -hmm. from the uh, item being photographed. So I'm lucky when I hold them still enough for those. But, this is just one of the beautiful things you can see in in late October still. Right. Okay. In Old early world. November, you'll be seeing the the bright leaves that are out there right now. They'll be yeah. disappearing. Okay, you can see some of the color in the little blue stem there. Right. And like I say, I tens intensified some mm -hmm. and made them More brighter. Spots, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the same species, right. the horsetail milkweed, Asclepius. Virtusulata, that's tiny orchid, and mm -hmm. obviously the kind that uh, uh, ladies' dress that's blooming in the fall. Right. And those are up on the, all on Rocher Heights, the little half acre. Man, the little what's left. Yeah. Uh, area. See that? That's right. close up of how they look. Mm -hmm. um, and quite unusual. Ladies' dresses. Sporanthes. Okay, here's an intensified one that seems to work magically, but it uh, shows little blue stem behind goldenrod, mm -hmm. and you could tell that I had adjusted it after the fact to, to try to brighten it up, but you see more detail. Right. More. Because different light situations, if you're not a genius with adjusting the camera settings, um, they all come out too, too pale or whatever. Mm -hmm. You can see little blue stem going to seed behind that yeah. uh, uh, and going through, and here's a little blue stem. Are that? Yeah. Are those that's, blue uh, yeah. Oh, the, the blue leaves on the goldenrod, they look blue in that see. light. See, yeah, that was, I don't remember what time of day exactly that was yeah. now. Yeah, that's just uh, what it, it was. It was partially cloudy, I think, and Partially bright. Here's another, and that's one we saw earlier. That's the Asclepius hertella, made on a different day. It, it was an older picture, I think, that had the more of the Pristine seeds still shot. on it. No, every film was clear. Here's the uh, Ward One meeting from a Monday night. Monday night a week ago, on mm -hmm. the 20th. It was after we did a short take that night, I guess. No, no, it was Thursday night. It was Thursday night. Uh, uh, but 
since we did our last short tape. And you see, some of those people look a little bored as they're hearing from uh, reports from the various uh, city employees. You mm -hmm. see the, the man in charge of, well, I can't say them all. No. You recognize a young lady there? <laughs> I do. That's Sarah. And Sarah Churchill. And she is with, you recognize those people? No, I the lady on the left. left I yeah, do, yeah. That's her, her next door neighbor, and that's right. her neighbor's brother, oh, the tall man. That's there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, his name's Larry Horn, and hers. Is oh yeah, I remember. I know Larry. Live I've Horn. known him for years. Sure, I, I knew you. We've all changed. Oh yeah, but this is behind. This is at Watson and St. Charles Cross. St. Charles. Uh, post office, and that was some of the. Destruction mm -hmm. going on. They've totally cleared that lot now of trees and houses, mm -hmm. and they're going to build apartments. Till next time, Sarbacheel Protection. Do your part to help keep the water clean, the air pure, and the woods green. See you, John.